Well, we've all enjoyed our first guest in so many fun Hallmark movies over the years, including the very popular Crossword Mysteries, with the amazing Lacey Chabert in his latest Abracadaver premieres this Sunday night on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries. Welcome back, Brennan Elliott. Hey. Welcome back, Brennan. Thank you. Hey. In the house. It's like home away from home. We were just saying, like, you recognize everybody. everybody. I mean, you're here all the time. We oh, love it when great. you are. We're going to talk all things Abracadaver in a minute. But first, let's yep. start off. Because, you know, Christmas was, what, about, like, 10 days yeah. ago? Yep. Let's think about next Christmas. You got, you actually started shooting. You've got a great movie yeah. coming out next Christmas. Yeah. It's going to premiere. Very excited about it. And it was shot in one of the most beautiful yeah. cities on the planet. In Tell the us world. about it. Vienna, which is, I'd never been, and it's spectacular. I mean, it's, I was saying, it's almost overload. It's so beautiful. Right. You're like, am I supposed to be here right now? Right. It so almost I'm, feels like a movie I feel set. like I'm in Gulliver's Travels, and I'm a little person, and everything is big sets. And it's that. It's just the scale. That. Oh, Vienna is off the charts. It's amazing, and everything. I mean, what they went through, obviously, in Second World War, and having to like re renovate everything and make sure everything. It, it looks like everything's so pristine, it's so really clean, is. and um, and it was wonderful. Look we had at a great that. time. That wow. architecture oh, yeah. is phenomenal. That was right around by our hotel. I just went for a walk, and that that was where Beethoven and Mozart started a lot of their career. Yeah, yeah. I think Beethoven was like a choir leader or something when he was young. I mean. Crazy. Got oh my, here we we went, yeah, that's amazing and, uh, if you think about my that. My co-star, my lovely co-star, Sarah Drew and I, we went and saw um, it with one of our producers, David Wolf, who's a wonderful guy, went and saw like a, a live symphony with the, some of the best in the world. And it was transcendent. It was like you, you walked out shaking. It was so wow. amazing. Yeah. And it, everything there just feels so historic. Yes. And it's so, um, got so much history. Like yeah. everything has got so much history. It's you know, amazing. Uh, it was amazing. Place. It was unbelievable. Well, you know, one of my favorite things about you, Brendan, we were talking about it in front of you a little earlier. <laughs> we were so I'm just going to tell you now. One of my favorite <laughs> things about you is that every character that you play is different. Oh, you always you. bring a very distinct true. sort of personality to mm. each character, and, and, and your, your crossword character is no different. The gum-chopping yes. detective yes. Logan is really great. He's tell a peach, me, isn't he? <laughs> how, did you, how did you sort of mold this guy? Well, I, 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 I got a really good, t I started with the Glendale Police Department, their, their um, detective agency, and I went on a ride along and set, hung out with them for a couple of days, and I wanted to really, because we had a couple of weeks, and I, if I have time, I want to kind of make it as honest as possible. And he said something to me, he says, I'll take you away and I'll show you what we do. He goes, but just, we're real people too. Yeah, you know, and to deal with our life, we, we're sarcastic, we crack jokes, sometimes we have to chew gum for the tension, sometimes we're, we're not really in this area, we're more in here, and so, Relationships can be tough, and so he gave me a lot of these human elements that I found really interesting. Because you know, you usually play a detective, you just you have this concept of being a cop or being whatever. And he wanted me to try from the the heart out, kind of thing. And so, and that's what I kind of wanted to do. And I've still touched base with him throughout the movies, and he'll say, "Love that didn't that's not right." Let's oh, interesting. Oh, that's wow. great. He said he goes, "I watched all these shows that have a lot of detectives, and it's not real." And I go, "Well, what makes it real?" And he would tell me these little things that I don't want to. Share too much, but give away I, your uh, secrets. I, well, <laughs> no, yeah. but this is great. This is great because you ever like you have his phone number maybe on set and something's happening right. and you ask because when I did the murder she bakes, uh, yeah, Allie Sweeney's know. husband uh, is an actual police officer, oh, so I could actually oh. call him oh, on that's the phone. Awesome. So did you have that? I had him for the first one. I called because the first one I was more of a rookie detective. So okay, like by the book, Brady. There you right. go. And then the transition, and I I called him after the second movie and said I think that we're making changes. I'm a little more hard edged. I've been I've been I've been around the block a little bit, a right. little more gut, you know, visceral and street. Cool. And you have some heaviness to you. A little bit. I wanted him to still have, be on point with the brand, but a little bit of that, you know, street toughness that is right. a little bit of like, a, you know, he's a little harder to get to, you know? Because you've seen some things. You've, he said, when you've seen the life that we live, you have to deal with it. I think that's and great. And the way to deal with it is sometimes you're sarcastic, you crack jokes. Mm -hmm. I mean, they have, their personal lives can be tough because they're, they're watching, looking at things that we're not and dealing yeah. with things we're not dealing with. So it was, it, was a, it was an experience in a lifestyle that I had no idea what it was like. And we know Lacey's character is creating crosswords uh, yeah. when right. she's not helping you solve these mysteries. But what else can yeah. you tell us about Abracadaver? Let's talk about the movie. Abracadaver is um, our third installment. And I think, um, not, not that it's the best one, but I think we finally found our voice for the show. and Because I think we were still trying to find our voice. But it's a story about a magician, a very successful, famous magician. And um, an act happens uh, during Tessa's character's birthday. And mm -hmm. we're all invited, and it's a jovial, wonderful celebration. And then, uh, well, someone dies, and it's something bad goes, something bad happens, and we all have to solve it by learning about the world of magic. And yeah, there we are at our party. 
It's very and, uh, cool. It actually is. Yeah, you guys do a great job. And we got a clip movie. of it. Oh. This is a clip uh, which I think is sort of a reoccurring thing that happens where you're expressing your concern <laughs> over Lacey's character <laughs> about getting I've been involved. doing that for seven years. And but she's, it's never you know, <laughs> and every, scene, really. every scene. Let's take a look. Tess, I am worried about you being here. How many times do I have to hear your Tess stay out of police business speech? As long as you keep disregarding it. You were like a paper that just keeps printing the same puzzle day after day after day. Yes, this is a homicide investigation. Oh, wait, so it's official? Yes, it's official. And I can't have you walking around I'm here. I'm not in danger with Bianca. See, right there. That's the attitude that's going to put you precisely in danger. You know there are ways of knowing things other than just forensic evidence. I thought your class was teaching you sleight of hand, not mind reading. I'm talking about an emotional connection, mm. intuition. The magician has to read the audience in order to make a trick work. You have to know what someone's thinking in order to get them to believe the story you're telling. Yeah, no, I know you magicians are good at manipulation, which you seem to be doing right now. Fine. I will be careful. I promise. Oh, we have a lot of fun. To, I mean, we've become very, very good friends. It's so, so easy and real. It really yeah, is. It's just that's, so authentic. That's, that's the best thing you can hear. And it's fun says. to watch. Yeah. And Thank this you. this actual magic trick that you are investigating in the film yeah. is a real magic oh, yeah. trick, I understand, that has oh, yeah. gone wrong before. I mean, it's been done thousands and tens of thousands of times. About I was researching it, 12 people had died trying to do this trick. Whoa. Yeah. So trying the, to do it the right way, and something happened, and yeah, 12 times it's gone wrong. Can you tell us about the trick? Yeah, I can't, while we're looking at well, it. Well, I, I can't. Mean, that doesn't look so basically, good. It doesn't look great. I mean, the, I'm not uh, sure I'd sign up for that. It's called catch the bolt in the mouth trick. Um, some of the greatest musicians in the world have tried, and some have failed, and, and, and some have obviously had success with it. Um, when you really research the trick, it's pretty amazing, the magic trick itself. Um, but yeah, it, it's insinuated that she shoots him in the mouth, he catches the bullet, but... Uh, I mean, I don't, I'm not going to try that ever. If you do this, man, to... if you know the research, 12 people <laughs> right. have not made it. So Debbie's going to stand trick. up. We're going to take I'm a bullet. I'm not sure. As a matter of fact, we are going to try this live right yeah, here on the show. Here we go. No, but we do have a magic trick of our own, Brennan. Oh, good. Yes, and really? we are going to make your co-star, Lacey Chabert, appear. You ready? Three, two, one. Hi, Brennan. I just wanted to say hello. I cannot believe we have completed our seventh movie together. You're the best. I know this one was a little scary, so I'm glad you had me there to protect you from the scary magic oh. manner. And also, your hair looks really good in this movie, so like really good use for the products. Oh, you are such a... Obviously, <laughs> um, love you so much. You're the best. Can't wait for our families to get together and celebrate again soon. And I hope we get to do 75 more movies together. Oh, Bye. Love you. And she's right. Your hair looks really good in the movie, man. I just, I just want to say it out loud. Oh, we finally got it right. <laughs> You guys have the best hair in all of the Hallmark films. Oh, no. Both of you. Uh, are you well including done. you? Got, I'm including you. That as well. is no, great. great. I'm feeling hair. a little self-conscious, but I'll you take it. I'll you take it. it. Your hair is perfect. Well, mine, mine needs work. I'm gonna change the subject. Mine has its own zip code. Let me tell you. The what are you talking it about? Like this or it goes, Oh, but it looks good. Should, Listen, we, okay. we're, we're learning more about Brennan. You're amazing, man. Thanks yeah, for being you guys here. Are the best. We'll see you in what a couple weeks or something. Yeah, just keep coming back. Just let us know. We'll figure it out. 2020. 2020, guys. Happy New Year, brother. Happy New Year, guys. We're gonna be looking. Looking forward to the premiere of Crossword <laughs> Mysteries, Abracadabra. It's happening this Sunday night at 8, 7 central on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries. Check it out. And you can also keep up with all of our 2020 movie premieres on our Hallmark Movie Checklist app, where you can add movies to your watch list, view trailers, and so much more. And it is free on iOS and Android devices.